Hey guys, we're back at another garden tour. Nearly a month after the last one, we can see how my garden has grown. Starting off in the front yard, you can see my corn is growing nicely. Beside it, the biggest surprise of the garden this year for me was the bean patch when it exploded. Green broad beans, scarlet runners, fava beans, snap peas, and four other varieties are all reaching up the trellis towards the roof. Across from the beans, my apple tree, I've had it for three years now, this is the first year it's been put in the ground. It's probably five or six years old now, and it's starting to produce some nice fruit. Next to it we have kabucha squash, I have a large patch of it. Over here I'm growing crookneck squash. Behind them I have hami melon and cantaloupe. Next, we have a patch of kohlrabi which is growing nicely. I did start out weeding the garden, but it became way too much work. Since this channel isn't the one that pays my bills, I can't justify the time required to do all the weeding and make it look immaculate. An interesting side effect of this though, while the weeds do steal some of the nutrition, it helps build culture of microbes in the soil, and it prevents the roots from getting burned by the sun and helps hold in moisture in the hot sun. You can see my broccoli going to seed here, the reason why is they were infested with aphids, so I simply won't eat them. Next to the broccoli is a patch of beets and one of carrots. The fig tree is doing good, has five or six figs on it now. On my deck, you can see the potato foliage is starting to die off, but weirdly enough, new leaves are growing. My kiwi berries are starting to get to full size now. The leaves are a bit curled up, which I think is from the sun. Next year I'm going to put in a drip irrigation system. I was lucky this year there was no water restriction, but if there were, I'd have to water this whole garden by hand. On my tri blueberry bush, we have some berries starting to ripen. Over in the main patch, you can see everything is growing nicely, including a layer of clover. This here is a rare white pumpkin. The weeds and clovers have come in so strong now, you can't even see the edge of my garden that I cut in. Now we have a handful of eggplants growing, my raspberries are starting to fruit, and in the back, the sun is way too hot for these leafy greens and everything is going to seed. I'll capture these seeds so I don't have to buy any for next year. Moving along to the back, it's becoming hard to distinguish what is edible and what is a weed. Since I planted everything and I labeled everything, I more or less can look past the weeds. In my tomato patch, everything is booming. This is the best soil in my yard. It's a mix of sand and soil with a bit of clay. The tomatoes are starting to overwhelm the peppers I planted. In the back, I have lemon cucumber. Over here, Hungarian hot wax pepper and more cucumber in the back. Taking a look at my quince, you can see the fruit is getting bigger. This quince was actually quite massive and I trimmed back a third of it before the season really started. The berries all in the front yard are doing well. I have a white blackberry bush here, which I'm excited to try the fruit. My plum tree is still trying to recover, sadly. It got infested by some weird worms that climbed up and laid cocoons inside. Well, that does it for this episode. Be sure to leave any questions in the comments down below, and have a great day.